Hi everyone, Elliot Jacobson here, and let's play a whole lot of Baccarat. So what we're going to do is to test various systems, progression systems, and uh, betting systems, and see whether any of them performs better than just flat betting. So here's how the setup looks. We're going to be running Monte Carlo simulations of a thousand shoes at a time. That's 80,000 hands of Baccarat using Excel. And we're going to try out these different systems and plot the results. And so the one question that will probably come up um, in your own mind is whether simulations match reality. Well, what is reality? Um, if you look at the way those shoes are shuffled in your neighborhood casino, they're either using an automatic shuffler or they are bringing in pre-shuffled shoes. Either way, those are being shuffled using a random number generator. And even if they were doing it completely by hand, simulations match reality. That's pretty much how the world works. So please don't let that be something that keeps you from um, following and learning something about the game as you watch these results. All right. So the systems we're going to try out are flat betting. We're going to try um, following streaks, see if we wait for a certain pattern to happen and then make a bet, whether that changes our results. Then we'll do the Martingale, which is famously doubling up after a loss. And then a couple other systems, the D'Alembert and Paroli systems, and I will explain those when we get to them. So to begin with, let's um, do some flat betting. We are always going to bet $100 on every single hand. We're always going to bet on player. And the reason we're going to bet on player is that, first of all, it's simpler to do the accounting. And secondly, in the majority of the casinos worldwide right now, there is a non-commissioned variant of Baccarat that pays one to two on a banker winning six. And that actually has over a 1.4 4% house edge on the banker bets, making the player bet the best bet at the table. So we are going to be doing this bet um, because of those reasons. Now let's just do a simple computation. The T win, the amount the casino expects to win, is $100 per hand times 80,000 hands times that 1.24% house edge. We see that's $99,200. That's our baseline um, theoretical win for the casino. So let's just go ahead and look at one of these simulations for flat betting. So this is how the um, graph will look whenever we run one of these. And just to orient you here, what we, when we are looking at this thing, um, this line right here is the break even line. The blue line here, that's the theoretical win. That's the amount the casino expects to win. And the red line is the player's actual results. So for this example, this little run, um, you notice that after 120 shoes, our player was still ahead. You can go in a very long time beating the house, but you notice how we're more or less hugging this theoretical line. Well, if I run a few of these simulations, and again, each one of these simulations is a thousand shoes, which would be the better part of several years of play for the average player, um, you'll notice how we do well for a while, or we do extremely poorly for a while, but roughly speaking, the um, results will be somewhere around the theoretical. Now they can sometimes vary quite a bit. And you notice this person is doing considerably worse than theoretically expected. Um, and that's just because the game has its own variance. In order to get something that's gonna actually convert to the theoretical win, you would have to run on the order of 100 million shoes to a billion shoes, which is typically what I do for my professional work. All right, so that's the flat betting um, situation. So next, what we're going to do is to um, look at streak betting. And in this situation, what we're going to do is look at betting $100 per hand. But we're going to wait until there's been two consecutive player wins in a shoe. And when that happens, we will bet player on the next hand and we'll follow up with player every time until um, we get a banker or um, a losing result. So at the start of every shoe also we will start over. So let's just go ahead and um, run that spreadsheet and see what happens. 
So here we are with the bet the streak simulation. And the thing to notice here is that um, the amount that we are losing is considerably less. And that's just because we're not betting very many hands. And when we do bet, um, again, we're betting that flat 100. So as a system, this system certainly succeeds in having you lose less, and it's only because you're betting less. But if we run this simulation, you will notice that it is not changing the fact that we're losing. We continue to lose here, even if we follow this idea that um, things will get hot, numbers, our player or banker will be hot. It does not change anything really in terms of the net effect that losing is losing. And um, we can just see that happening here. All right, so this is a thousand chews at a time every time I click this button. So you can really see how much we are playing and that a lot of times we do much worse than expectation. Sometimes we do better, but things pretty much group around that blue line. One way or another, we are going to be a loser if we use a streak betting system. All right, so let's now go back and see what comes next. The next thing we're going to look at is the simple Martingale system. And the Martingale, again, this is going to be um, based on doubling after you lose a hand. So we're going to start with $100 per hand on player. After a loss, the next bet is double the previous. If we ever reach the table maximum, then we can only bet the table max because every casino has a table max bet and you will not be able to get away from that. After a tie, we will simply keep the same bet that we had the previous hand. And after a win, we assume we will eventually win. We're going to start over again with the base bet. Now, I'm not going to reset at the start of every shoe because the Martingale just has you doubling up until you win. So, okay, let's go ahead and look at that um, spreadsheet now. All right, so here is the uh, simulation of the Martingale. And in this particular simulation, you notice that I have a max bet set up over here. The max bet is very important for the Martingale. So I have this set at 10,000. Let's just make it um, much smaller. Let's just start with the $1,000 max bet and see what happens. So here, if we have a double up uh, system, then we can only double up 100, 200, 400, 800. And then on our fifth loss, we'd be forced to bet um, simply 1,000. So you, again, you can see that because we're going to be betting larger amounts of money, um, the theoretical loss is going to be substantially higher. So you notice here, using a Martingale system, rather than that $99,000, we're expecting to lose sometimes $250,000 or more. Now, the higher I make this number, two things are going to happen when I make that number higher. Number one is that we are going to lose more because we're allowing ourselves to bet more in certain situations. The other thing is that the this line right here of our actual results is going to become more um, variable. The variance is going to be higher. It's going to tend to move around a lot more. So here you see that we're ending up right on the line, but we have some crazy rides along the way. If I move this up to 5,000 and then run the simulation, again, you notice here that we're, our expected loss is almost $400,000, and we can do much worse than that. There's nothing that says that we have to land on that line. But the Martingale has a lot of variability to it. So you see here how even out towards 700 shoes, we're still beating the house here. So the higher we make the max bet, the more double ups are possible before the um, catastrophe strikes. And so because double ups, um, because long, long sequences of losses are increasingly rare, the more double ups we allow ourselves, you're going to have this increasingly jagged line that's going to happen. So let's just run um, one or two more of these. But the point is, it is still a losing system. Do you see that, how it's losing? Um, but let's run just a couple of these with a $25,000 max bet. And you will notice that it really becomes sharply jagged at this point. So, all right, the lesson of the Martingale is you are going to lose a lot of money, but you're going to have a wild ride doing it. And you're going to lose a lot more than flat betting. You're going to lose a lot more than streak betting. But you might enjoy these spiky moments because a lot of people gamble for those extreme um, 
changes in their bankroll. All right. What comes next? Well, the next one we are going to look at is the D. Alembert system. And this uh, is a little bit complicated. What, again, we start with $100 per hand on the player. If we lose, we're simply going to increase our bet by $100. So if we're at 100 and we lose, we go to 200. If we're at 200 and we lose, we go to 300 and so on. But if we win, what we do is we subtract $100 from our bet. So if our bet was 500 and we win, we go back to 400. If we're at 400 and we win, we go to 300. Now, if we're at 100 and we win, we just stay at 100. You never go below your base bet. After a tie, you keep the same bet. And one of the important things about this is you do have to start this over again uh, at the start of each shoe. Otherwise, just because we lose slightly more often than we win, according to this formula, our bet sizes would quickly get very, very large and exceed the house maximum. So we're starting at the, at the uh, start of each shoe, we're gonna start over. So let's just go ahead and have a look at a spreadsheet that shows us what happens if we use the D. Alembert. So, okay, here we are. And the first thing I want you to notice is that this is losing even more than the um, Martingale system. And the reason is that very quickly in a shoe, we expect to lose more than we win. Our bets are gonna get higher and higher as the shoe goes on, typically. Not always, sometimes you'll have a winning streak, you'll stay down there around $100. But you notice that if we use the D. Alembert system, that our theoretical is over $500,000 um, when we have a $5,000 max bet on a shoe. So, what I want to say is that it is very rare to actually ever hit that max bet if it was 5,000. And the reason is if you're starting at 100, you would need 49 losses to in a single shoe to get to that $5,000. Not very likely. So for the most part, this max bet is an irrelevant feature of this. But if we run these simulations, you'll notice once again, we are losing. Sometimes we lose less than the theoretical and sometimes we uh, lose more than the theoretical, and you notice here, a lot more than the theoretical. But key feature of the Dallin Bear is you are gonna lose a lot more money in the long run using this system than the Martingale or the Streak or the Flat Betting. This system is a disaster for your pocket. I really um, strongly discourage you from using it, um, if you, unless you just like to lose money. All right, well, we, are, we have one more system to look at, so let's just go ahead and pull that um, up. So we're looking at the Paroli system now. In the Paroli system, the base bet is $100 per hand, and um, after the first win, we're gonna double so if we win, then we double. So this is the opposite of the Martingale. Here we are doubling after a win, right? So we win once, we double to 200. We win twice, we double to 400. And it doesn't matter what happens on the third hand. If you win your $400, you're gonna to drop to 100. If you lose your 400, you're gonna to drop to 100. It's only if you tie that you keep the same bet. So what we're doing is essentially um, trying to get streaks of three wins in a row, which would be a 100, 200, $400, um, a net $700 win. And anytime we don't succeed in getting a sequence of three wins in a row, the net result will be that we've lost $100. So you're either gonna win $700 in one cycle of this thing, or you're gonna lose $100 in one cycle. But the thing is, it's, you get a lot more lo losing cycles than you do winning cycles. And again, at the start of each shoe, we're gonna simply start over here. So let's take a look at a simulation um, using this system. So what you see here is that our expected loss, our theoretical loss, it's much less um, than the Martingale, it's much less than the D'Alem Bear. And the reason is that we're betting 100, 200, or 400. So let's just say on average, we're betting 200. So that would be roughly twice as much theoretical loss as flat betting, or about 190 to $200,000. Typically, that'll be about what we're losing um, for these 80,000 um, hands so let's run a few um, trials of this thing 
and you see that once again we are following that line more or less we have our incredibly bad streaks we have some very positive streaks so we can beat the house we can do worse than expectation but we're going to follow that um, theoretical line fairly closely most of the time um, there will be a few strange results because weird things happen but you can see once again this parole system does not beat the house all right so just running a one or two more just to really convince you that this is yet another losing system so what have we um, figured out here today well what we figured out is that all these systems that i presented to you are losers so um, none of these things is going to beat the house um, so maybe there's some other system out there that would beat the house well if you go looking on the internet you will find at least these five systems this is what i found i could create spreadsheets for each of these and i guarantee you in every single case they would turn out to be losers following that t win line fairly closely most of the time but um, they are losing systems so i'm not going to bother um, analyzing these but please don't let anybody tell you these things win they don't win they are losers and if somebody tries to sell you a system based on one of these ideas whether it's one i presented here or one of these other worthless systems that i've enumerated um, if somebody's asking for money for their system they are a scammer if they're claiming that their system wins they're a liar so don't get scammed um, don't listen to the liars none of these systems work the best system i could recommend is a streak betting system where you wait for a certain sequence of results then bet table minimum that will lose the least amount the second least you can lose is if you simply bet player every hand or if you're in a jurisdiction where you can get a full um baccarat, traditional bakra game then bet banker every hand so by the way, these spreadsheets I presented, you can find those on my website, advancedadvantageplay.com, in the download section. So if you want to um, play with these things yourself, you're welcome to give them a try. They are there for you to download. And then you can look at my code, and you can code your own if you know a little bit about how to do that kind of thing. Hey, look, subscribe to this channel, okay? And I don't care if you give me a thumbs down. My videos get a lot of thumbs down. I finally figured it out. Somebody dropped me an email. They said, hey, I gave five thumbs down to your video under five different Google names. There are a lot of people who don't like that I'm calling them liars or that uh, their systems are scams. I get that. But I'm not here to make friends. I just want to tell you the truth about these things, right? I don't want you to lose money to somebody who is selling a worthless system. And I don't want you to lose money by trying these worthless systems in casinos um, and finding out the hard way that they don't work. So that's it for today. Thanks, everyone. This is Elliot Jacobson. See you later.